bug out if I said time today. This is my Minecraft server. Um, as you can see, I'm not running in full screen because I want to. Ooh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> no one ever saw it. So you, you can see if you're a programmer, there's exceptions down there. Uh, don't really care about them because they don't they don't matter anyway so you can see like there's a, I was setting up a whole thing to just like pretend it was like oh I this is a weird server this is a mystery server I don't know why it's here and then I would figure out about this gadget chest and I would find out that the spear breaks blocks okay now Unfortunately, it gives you the blocks when it breaks them. So, yeah, that's not really good. But hey, on the plus side, it's a way of infinite materials. I mean, come on, infinite acacia wood? Who doesn't want infinite acacia wood? So, I was supposed to find out, like, the spear broke blocks, and then I would come out here, and I would see, oh, it's, it's, an abandoned creative world, what, what am I supposed to be doing here? Okay. And of course I'd find the paintball and I would shoot it around a bit. And yes, there are cooldowns on these items, except I am op. So if I de-op myself, let me just type this in chat so I can just paste it into IntelliJ. Okay, so I de op myself. Now there's cooldowns for this. See, you can see there's, you must wait blah 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 seconds before using this. And there's a tiny exploit around that. But, like, really, who wants to just go in a menu to use an item faster? I mean, unless it's like throwing TNT. Which, I mean, like, I would get why you would want to throw multiple. Um, but that's, it's, the, the reason the counter resets there is on purpose. So if someone selects a new gadget, if someone selects something new, the counter gets reset. But I have to make sure they select something new. I haven't done that yet, but everything else is complete, and the 9 cut launcher is the most fabulous of all launchers. And nothing can beat the nine cat launcher. Let me opt myself. There we go. Yes, I am on the Hypixel job application website. Stop. Stop screaming at me. Okay. Just looking at it, my gosh. Um. So yeah. So if you're op, you can just. Yeah, that happens. And there's a bunch of cats floating in the sky. 
But what you didn't know. What you didn't know is that. Oh, crud, I pressed buttons. What you didn't know is that I am extremely OP. That's that's what you didn't know. I'm I'm lying when I said that. Oh, that's right. It's on peace. One eternity later. Okay, so you guys, you guys can see in here this mess here. There's an easy way to get rid of it. I'm kidding. And this is the command you want to use if you want to kill everyone except the players. Yeah, it sounded weird. But, so, let me walk through this code here. Uh, uh, T or S T. I'm just gonna do T. So, we start with our gadget plugin. And we just register a handle, okay? So in here, when we create the hand handler, we do some scheduler stuff with some protected variables. This is a constant. Yes, it is a good constant. Do not interfere with my constants. And now, so after it gets all this done, whenever it right clicks, if there's a chest and blah, 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 then it opens the inventory otherwise it does it does the spear action or does the paintball action or does the throwing key, and key action or does the mine count launcher action when I click in my inventory if it starts with the section sign which means the section sign is like the color operator in minecraft so if it starts with the section sign it means it's one of my items or a different item with the section sign which you can't get in vanilla minecraft uh, then you can't move it. Uh, or if the inventory is the, my, the gadget's inventory, then it'll set your gadget item to the item you clicked. This makes sure that if a projectile is thrown, that isn't one of the projectiles created by my plugin, it'll be killed. Basically how it does that is it looks for a custom name on the projectile. So like the the paintballs are named paintball, the arrows are named spears. Or the, the snowballs are named paintball, the arrows are named spears. And that's how I not kill them. This is my paintball code that just makes sure that all the blocks get handled correctly. This set data method is deprecated. I don't know why. I don't know what the alternative is. Um, otherwise, if a spear hits it, it just breaks the block. And it's supposed to break it. Like, it's. I want it to, like, show the particles when it breaks without it dropping the item. And I'm gonna fix that. And it makes sure, like,. This makes sure that, like, if you're destroying a block with an arrow, you want to make sure it's not a paint block. I mean, sorry, if you're, if you are paint, if you are trying to, you don't want to paint over another block. That would be bad. You don't want to paint over another painted block. And this is, this is what prevents that. So this is a stored block class I used to make sure, like, um, to make sure that I could replace the blocks. Because blocks, uh, the block class only has location and it's finicky, so this is what I used to store the blocks that I've painted over. This just, this get transparent materials gives me all the materials that I can't um, turn into paint, but it shouldn't, 
it shouldn't include solid things like huge mushroom one or huge mushroom two, obviously, or burning furnace. It shouldn't include stuff like that. Actually, those are tile entities, so never mind my, never mind my blah blah blah. This spawns a firework in a random. This spawns a random firework in a set location. This spawns a firework that rides an entity. Yes, that's cool. And lambda usage. I am a great coder. Yeah. So yeah, that was that was my bucket plugins that I made in like four hours. So yeah, let's shoot some spears up in the air. Let's shoot some Britney Spears up in the air to end this. That scared me when it hit. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode thing, I guess. Like, I can't really be called an episode, but... I hope you enjoyed. If you did, uh, hire me. Yeah, hire me. That's, a, that's always a good idea.